Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how I make my flipped classroom videos and also annotate student work digitally. So the main things that I use are Notability. So I am on a Mac, I use Notability on my Mac. Many people know that Notability is an iPad app. I am a Mac user, I use Notability on my Mac. Now, how do I actually handwrite? For that, I have a Wacom tablet. The Wacom tablet that I would recommend is the Wacom One because it is the lowest price point for a display tablet that Wacom offers. I think the handwriting experience on the Wacom tablets compares to no other, and I really like having the pen with display, so what that means is that I actually have a second monitor. I'll show you a little snapshot right here of me writing during this video, and so that gives me the ability to handwrite with a pen using the Mac device that I was already using anyway. So that's my solution. I'm going to talk more about why I like Notability and how I use Notability in this video. Now, before I start this video, I just want to say that what I'm going to be explaining here is my process for creating more content delivery. If I want to engage with my students, which is what I'm normally doing when we're doing a virtual session or a class session, I pair my Wacom tablet with Pear Deck so that students can have the interactivity. But for the content that I am creating, for videos that I'm creating, for work that I'm grading and giving feedback on, that's where I use Notability. So I just don't want you to be confused as you've probably seen me talk about both things. The two serve separate purposes for creating my screencasts. I am using Notability for grading student work. I'm using Notability for an interactive classroom. I am using Pear Deck and in the description box below, I'll link a video talking more about how I use that for student interaction. So one of the things I love about Notability is that I can just save all of my work right here and I can make different folders. It just feels like a binder. I have a planning folder and an AP Calculus folder is my main two things that I'm using currently. For my flip classroom videos, I tend to create a PowerPoint ahead of time and then just ink it up in Notability. I'm gonna show you that process in a moment, but I first wanna start with something that I love the most about my digital world is that it's searchable and Notability actually has OCR built in. So if I write like demo right here, for example, I'm going to be able to search for that note later. So if I'm in this file even, and then I go to the search bar and type in demo, while there are no matches in this note, you can see content matches. So there's several different files that it found demo in, but here's the one I was just writing in and you can see it even points it out. And that was me handwriting. So it is finding my handwriting. It doesn't just have to be typed text for it to be searchable. And that is one of the biggest beauties about this. I can easily search through all of my documents to find what I need. That's the beauty of handwriting meets digital to me. Now let me get back to here and I'm gonna go ahead and just choose the eraser tool and erase that. In Notability, I can easily change my pen colors right here on the side. I have a great selection of colors. I can even add custom colors if I want. And my handwriting is just pretty wonderful in this. I love the drawing experience in Notability. You'll find that even when you have a really nice Wacom tablet, if you're pairing it with the wrong app, the handwriting experience can really change. It's much more fluid in certain apps than other ones. So for me, pairing the Notability with the Wacom tablet has been the solution for me. But let me get into the biggest part of this video that you're probably here for, which is how I actually create things for my flipped classroom videos. I usually start in PowerPoint, so I might make my slides in PowerPoint like this, and then all I do is I have that file right here, so that's my PowerPoint file. All I do is literally drag it in like this. I don't need to convert it to a PDF first or anything. It just pulls in right like that into Notability. Then if I go over to this icon right here, I can easily go between the slides just like so. I can also just use my down arrow, which is what I normally do, because I like to keep up the pen tools so that I can easily switch colors. I was using Camtasia to record. As with most screen recorders, you can choose the area of the screen that you wanna record. So at the beginning, I just select 
only this region to record. I highlight only this region so that you don't see all this stuff on the sides and you don't even have to see me changing the pen color. It's just gonna focus on whatever is in my selected region that I'm recording. And so that's kind of how I manage my flip classroom videos and how I ink on my screen. So I'll just give you a little demo right now. So say that I wanna show how I got here. So I'm gonna start with this equation. And so that gets me there. And then I can use the colors to kind of point out what I'm talking about in these graphs. And of course I would give a better explanation in my teaching, but using Camtasia to record, it's recording everything that's happening on my screen, the handwriting and my audio, and then I can go back and edit later. Now, again, because I'm doing all of this in Notability, after I can always export these as a PDF if I want to give the notes to my students or if I wanna have a copy of my annotated notes. And it's all just saved in my binder and I can make more folders if I want to, to organize my work. Again, it's gonna be so easily searchable at the end of all of this. Now, let me show you the student work right here. Students would have scanned their work to me as a PDF and then I just pull it in to Notability, just like I showed you before. You can just drag and drop things from your desktop onto Notability and then I ink it up and I export it as a PDF. From there, I usually just upload it to a shared Google Drive folder between me and the student. Now, I will say if you have the Notability iPad app, it does allow you to export directly to Google Drive, which is wonderful. I wish that would come to the Notability app on the Mac, but I have one more step to do. I export it to my desktop and then drag it into Google Drive to share it with my students. Now, if I'm teaching a virtual class and we're convening over Zoom or something and I really just need somewhere to write, there is a whiteboard in Zoom, but I prefer to just pull up Notability and start a new blank page like this because then I have all my work saved in my same notebook. So I think of this as my virtual notebook. And at the end of the session, I can just export it as a PDF and share that on my learning management system with my students. So I would just open up Zoom or a Google Hangouts Meet, do a screen share, and then I usually just write on a blank piece of paper. So that would just be going into my notebook and then pressing new, and it's a new blank piece of paper. And then obviously I can just go ahead and start writing. There's also just so many tools, like a highlight tool, if I wanna point some things out. Also, as a math teacher, if you are drawing shapes, and you kind of hold the pen down, you see how it snaps into an actual shape. So if I have a circle and I just hold my pen for a second, it snaps into an actual circle. Same thing for lines, so it makes graphing really nice. I can make a nice little axis there and then kind of draw as I may, point certain features out and so forth. So this is just my process. Again, I really enjoy Notability because it is like a notebook here and I can have my different folders. I even use this for my planning, as you can see here. I'm not gonna show you my actual planner, but I have a couple of templates. And then this one I kind of made myself, which I use often and I do a weekly review here. And then daily, I kind of put in my tasks, reminders, follow up. I like to marry the digital world with the actual handwriting. And that's kind of where I'm at right now. I just really like having everything on my laptop, but I also really value the handwriting versus the typing and being able to have a more creative flow to where I'm writing text versus it being so linear on the computer all the time. And so that's where the Wacom tablet has been a lifesaver for me because it's what I was already using and now I'm able to handwrite. I do have to plug something in, of course, but for me, this is my process and that's what I'm sharing with you. Again, the most valuable part for me is just being able to pull in, like I create a PowerPoint, I pull that in, as the PowerPoint, I don't need to convert in any way into Notability. And then I have all the easy pen tools right here. And it's just a really smooth writing experience again. So I really appreciate that about Notability. And then the fact that it feels a lot like a binder to me of all my notes. And then finally, the searchability is just huge because I can even search my handwritten notes, which comes in very handy for me as I'm looking for things later. And that's what I love most about my digital life is that it's searchable. All right, and that's it for this video. I hope this gave you a 
little insight into my process. And again, to close this video, I just wanna emphasize again that Notability is really how I create my Flip Classroom videos how I do most of my digital inking. If I'm looking for more of a content delivery, it does put the power just in my hands and not in student hands. If I'm looking to really engage my students, I turn to something like Pear Deck and I'm able to write on that. But for being able to file my notes, search my notes, ease of passing back and forth, digitally annotated work as PDF files, that's where I use Notability. So the two things work in harmony for me. They serve different purposes. I hope that I explained that well in this video and that this is helpful. Bye.